headlong. Two FE suited got shot, one survived. Mascom Society getting ready for 2013. Traffic at Recto and Recto underpass. FE suited being physically fit. Two FAU students got shot, one survived. Three FAU students engaged in gunshot incidents in Arpapa last December 4, 2012 at around 7.45 p.m. One student confirmed dead on arrival and the other one did it survive named Gerard Ramos and Paolo Napomoceno. One lucky survivor named AJ Santiago is currently stable right now, a member of FEU Green Bison. Police mention that all of them are going to eat on the near shops before the incident happened. FEU security and community got alarmed on what happened. Here's the reaction of the president of our Far Eastern University Student Council Organization, JV Badin. What were your reaction on the recent event? Actually, the, the very moment the event was concluded in Firestone University, particularly outside, just it happened outside, the first thing we've done is first verify if the situation has really occurred truly. Second is right after that incident, we have done surveys like what's going to happen, what are we going to do next. We have done fair vigil. We have offered special masks just for the two victims and the other one is in recovery and continuous support to the family of the victims in which case we coordinated to the administration in they the administration provide assistance to the victims and fourth we are continuously having our white ribbon campaign wherein we are distributing white ribbons as to symbolize our call for justice and peace to the recently Actually, it's going to happen for nine days, nine days excluding Sunday. So basically, if it happened day two last, day two yesterday, three, so it's going to end on Friday next week. And on Friday next week, the FEU Central Student Organization is proposing to the administration if we can have the All Black Friday just to sympathize with the mournful take of FEU to that. And for our traffic news, our reporter, Darwin, live at Recto Avenue and Recto Underpass. Thank you very much, Warren. I am here live at Recto and Recto Underpass. As you can see, southbound going to Quiapo is moderately heavy. Meanwhile, northbound going to España is light to moderate. On Recto Avenue southbound going to Divisoria is light to moderate, and northbound going to Minjola is light to moderate as well. That's all for our traffic news. My name is Darwin, reporting. Mascot Society getting ready for 2013. Know the latest activity and what they done. What activity you are already done so far? Well, actually, all of our projects are in line with our current theme or yung move, maximizing opportunity through values and excellence. So we have we have uh, we did. Um, our annual projects like Mass Communication General Assembly, um, Freshman Familiarization, with, which equip freshman students about college life, about Mascom life here in FEU. We also did um, WAIS or Welfare Advocacy for Irregular Students. So 
it was the first project here. Actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but it was the first project here in FEU that caters with irregular students. Because here in FEU, irregular students doesn't have the same privilege as per regular students when it comes to having a uh, what's called this um, scholarship. So with WAIS, it helps them to know what are the um, scholarships that are available for them. I responsibly move online lecture series. So this event explains the whole provision of the cybercrime law because we believe that MASCOM students of all courses here in FEU should know what um, cybercrime law is all about. Then we have our online writing. This helps second year student to earn money while studying through online writing. So for the next year, we have our EMI. This is for third year students or equipping MASCOM for internship. The, this will help them to prepare on how to apply on a job, how to act during the interview, or what are the do's and don'ts during internship. And also we have GSIS or Gearing Seniors for Innov Innovative Seminars. So this is kind of job hunting event for the senior students. We also have our Love Month, which will help students to know how to properly handle relationships while studying. And also, um, not only relationship with, um, you know, opposite sex, but also relationship with God, self, and um, a lot more. So, we, oh, we will also have our MASCOM night with MASCOM People of the Year. So, this will give recognition to those students who, will, who excels in different fields of communication and also in their extracurricular activities. So, that's um, the mass communication projects for this year. Okay, so um, regarding on your team, how can you say that your officers are really working as a team? So actually, um, we are glad that during the last election, we won. We, we won 10 over 1. So only one officer from the other party. So it's not that hard for us to adjust with one another because we work as a team during the campaign. And now we still practice that thing that um, parang one for all, all for one. So when one give up, so we all, we are all here to guide him and still motivates him to work with us. So just like any other organization, our organization is not perfect. But I can say with the help of one another, we're still doing our best to complete our term and to do better projects for the students. being physically fit, here's Warren Olarte for the report. How true that every student being physically fit and how or what ways do they do to be healthy? Got it. Every student engage in different sports such as basketball, volleyball just to be healthy. They do it sometimes when they're available or on break or just to relieve stress. Here's some insight on what ways they do to be healthy. So what, how can you say that you're physically fit? <laughs> For me, actually, I'm not if I'm physically fit or not. But as they say, the uh, friends go in, ayun, sa teachers, they say na. I'm physically fit because of the way I maintain my body. Because, kung sa physical ano niya, physical, physical appearance. Ayon, physical appearance. Ko. Kasi, I'm not fat. I'm not thin. Just like right. so for me, I'm physically fit. Alright. So what are the ways you do to be healthy? Every 
every morning, sometimes, hindi siya regular. Minsan nagbabasket mo lang. Tapos, ayun, kaming dalawa, every day, we play volleyball or basketball. Here in Kukwan. In the FA Kukwan. Alright, so... <laughs> Truly, our FE students making themselves disciplined on what they eat and what they do every day. Do this, I'm Warren Alarte reporting.